Yan, hi guys, hi everyone, hello, hello sa mga kabahay ko dyan sa Magdako na Mundo Ayan, good news, Philippine news Philippines new travel requirements announced for expat tourists Ayan, good news Ayan Ayan, good news sa mga kababayan nating mga OFW One Health Pass, wala na po yan guys Ayan, Ayan po yung One Health Pass, wala na po yan Okay, so all expat or OFW and even tourists ayan pwede na po kayo uh, mag travel without fill up one health pass ayan meron na pong pumalit dyan guys ito na po ang pumalit na tinatawag ayan X na po yan nagyan ko lang ng animation ng ating one health pass okay good news for uh, expat yan e-arrival card na ayan tinatawag electronic arrival card ayan ay na po ang tinatawag ayan ang pumalit sa one health one health pass ayan good news so ayan po ay make it animation ayan check na po siya ayan bakit nga ba uh, pinatupad ng Philippine government kasi po ay ito po yung mga reason bakit po ayan okay there is a reason why government okay remove this one health pass and uh, implement uh, e arrival card yan okay ito po yung mga dayan guys ayan so following a number of complaints from expert flying home the philippines government has officially replaced its own travel database one help us with a new electronic arrival card it uh, it was announced on tuesday and so this is good news guys okay for tourists and OFWs filipino working abroad yeah So this is the image guys of uh, Philippine over uh, workers and tourists that uh, visit our Philippines and uh, go back to our country. And yeah, this is the image. I make also animation yeah, with the new travel document called e arrival card. The government promises simply a most streamlined process that would require fewer details. The Philippine Department of Health told local media. So it's good news. E arrival card. Ayan. This is a good news for tourists and OFW Filipino workers. Ayan. It's a big news and good news to everyone. It's very, very convenient. No? So this is the purpose why they implement a new system. With the previous one health pass, travelers were required to register online and fill out the form three days before their flight so they get a number. Then, they had to complete a digital health declaration checklist one day before boarding to get a QR code. Oh, diba guys? Very difficult before uh, the procedures for one health pass. Filipino flying home found this process tedious and inconvenient, especially since the verification of the pass created long queues at the airport. So this is the reason very very difficult even the in the airport there are a lot of queues so that's the why they implemented now to ease the restriction brought about the one health pass we created the rare arrival card only a few details would be needed it won't be asking for too many requirements said maria rosario bergere officer in charge of the department of health Ayan. travelers who won't be able to get their e arrival card will also be assisted upon their arrival in the airport there will be special lane where they can upload the details and get their card the official added yan pwede na rin po yan it's a airport itself yan thank you guys i hope you catch it all